Here's a quick insight into the most valuable problem in ordinary differential equations, maybe differential equations entirely. And that is the problem dp dt equals k times p, with initial condition p at 0 equals p naught. It says the derivative of p is proportional to p. The derivative of p is a constant multiple of the original function. And we know a famous function whose derivative is essentially is itself. And that's the function e to the t. Now we can check the solution p of t equals p naught times e to the kt. If you take the derivative of that, k comes down, you get kp naught e to the kt. And that's the same as if you multiplied it by k. So essentially, this differential equation is crying out for the exponential function. The exponential function is the solution. And the initial condition is just the coefficient of the exponential function. That's a famous pattern that you have to memorize and use. Anytime you see that pattern, you can just quote the solution straight from the pattern. We'll show you how to derive it physically by hand. But I'll let you quote that solution anytime you see it in this class. It's so valuable. dx dt equals 3x, and x of 0 is 7. Well, then the function that solves that must be x of t equals 7 e to the 3t. Even goofy looking things like mu prime equals pi times mu, you know, d mu dt. If the initial condition is mu of 0 equals zeta, then the solution is mu of t equals zeta times e to the pi t. Notice where the k goes and notice where the initial condition goes. dq dt is minus q and q of 0 is 1 fifth and the solution is 1 fifth e to the minus t. You can check each one of these solutions and see that it satisfies both the differential equation and the initial condition. Memorize this pattern.